Hello everybody, welcome to Diverse Roleplay. Roberto Maverick here with a new episode in Diverse. You're going to be jumping in here tonight as Thomas James McGuire. We're going to be uh, using this minivan. And we're going to see about him. Um, just see what he can get into, build up his storyline. And see what I want to use this character for. I kind of just get ideas talking to other civilians. Let's go ahead and jump into this and see what we can get into. Go ahead. Oh. Did not mean to do that. Go ahead and cancel the emote. Let me go ahead and get his walking style too. I am gonna do a janitor. Yeah, that'll work for this guy. Alright, let's go ahead and head down in the army or in the sandy and get some gas. I'm just gonna say it now, I apologize if I don't get, um, other people's audio. I don't know if it's just an issue on my end or OBS, but I'm gonna see what I can do tonight. See if I can make this better than my test recording I did last night. Well, I shouldn't say last night, but whatever I can get this video out for diverse roleplay, you guys will be the first one to see it. Let's go ahead and get head into town here. Thing about I'ma just say one of my pitch ideas is to use this guy as an RP character. Not an RP character. Uber driver character or something along that line. Just something interesting, some passive. Try not to get in too much trouble with the cops. I think will be the plan for this guy. I'm going to use my blinker here. I'm going to get gas here. Do do do. I might see about buying this character a new car, I don't know quite yet. See, probably go into town and see what's happening. In the sandy. See what people are up to, see what cops are up to. Just, I think tonight will just be a laid back kind of night. That's what I'm thinking. There we go. Alright, let's head into the Sandy Shores and see what's happening. I think it will be a relief to the Elio because people in this are always driving nice vehicles like a Ford Mustang. Or some, you don't really see anyone use the AI cars that much. So, this will be some new, some different, because they're like, always saying, hey, why do we not get to chase a minivan or pull over a minivan? Or, something along the lines of like, a normal civilian vehicle. Instead of all these sports cars. Like, I like this server. It has some of its rough patches, but, work through them. And people in here are great. 
Like, I enjoy hanging out with some of the people in here. I think we're probably getting something by 24-7 tonight. Yeah, you can definitely tell that's a... Uh, yeah. Looks like that guy's putzing around. I'm gonna honk at him for going around because there's no need for him to go around me. Like zero. And this guy is all about safety. He'll use his blinkers to turn. See that jackass. It's all about safety. I mean this minivan is on. I'm gonna go to 24-7 and buy some stuff. I can turn off my blinker. I think that guy probably thought I was an AI. I'm wondering if that guy thought I was an AI because I was driving like an AI. Well, I'm not gonna lock it if I'm... Let me just buy myself some refreshments. I was at a bag of chips out of five bucks. Thanks, man. Have, have a good day. See, because I'm driving a minivan, a minivans are spawning. It's giving the cops something new to pull over, like. I'm like, it's just a bundle of soda, sir. Do T slash me. Wait, opens.
Ah, oh, that is extra refreshing. I think that person's like, why is he using a minivan? This guy can only afford what he does. He works paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, see, my frames are kind of crapping itself. I'm just hopefully hoping. It might be Sandy Shores. That's a nice for explorer. He's kind of like a balanced safety, so he's not going to speed. He's going to do like a... Go. Go! I was going in the local. Go, you piece of garbage. Frick. You know what? Fuck you, you local. That cop might have saw that unfold. I was about to get on beat that guy's ass. But this guy keeps his anger to him, man. Let's go around the block. I like how they're using that tonight. I think that's one of Brandon's. Yeah, that is one of Brandon's. I'm gonna see if I can do a speed of a just to go slow. He's a cautious driver. I think that's what we're gonna go with. Cautious driver. He drives kind of like a low below the speed limit, just for him to stay safe. Let's see about buying him a new truck over at Larry's or to see if anyone is uh, selling a uh, vehicle. Because this guy lives, um, lives paycheck to paycheck. That's his storyline. Right now it's just chill, lay back. Wondering if a cop saw this. I think they. Well, one of them already knows that's a sieve. Seems pretty quiet in harmony. I am using the custom version of the minivan because I just wanted the sliding door, not because it has hydraulics. This guy knows that there's hydraulics, but he doesn't have them set up to work. I think I'm gonna loop back around the Sandy. Technically, I can get pulled over for driving below the speed limit.
Uh, do, do, do. It's a quiet night. Wait, I'm confused. Why is it saying that speed limit's 50 when that sign says 60 miles an hour? It's 60 through here. Is this photography of police cars night? Oh hell, someone is being a truck driver tonight. It is very quiet. I'm gonna go to 297. It's a little chunky. You can pull me over for going too slow. Either that cop should have seen you doing radar or something. I have not really seen anyone. I haven't even seen Cameron in a while. I was going to keep the, like, the hard mud. There's something going on over there. No, I should act like there's mechanical failure, so I'll just say I got gas. No, I should drive slow and say that there's a transmission issue. 
with the car. So then they can pull me over. I think I'll RP that there's something wrong with my transmission. Because this thing's old, this thing's like 2005. So it's gonna bound to have a few issues. It might give him a reason to pull me over. I think he just pulled me over. I think it's because I'm driving too slow. I'm like, I'll be like, yeah, I have a transmission issue. I'm trying to take it over to the shop. Like, this guy has enough money. Can I You might just, I would just RP that there's a transmission failure. It's an old van, so. I was trying to go to the mechanic shop, that's why I was going slow, because it won't shift between first and second gear. Hello? Yeah, hello, officer. Hey, how you doing? I'm also here with the San Shores Police Department. Can I get your driver's license and uh, vehicle information, please? Yeah, I can get that for you. Oh, wow. Wrong. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, the reason for the stop is you're you're going under the limit. I've got you and that car's... Okay. Uh, this is a 50. Looked like you were going around 20. My radar also got you going at least 24. Yeah, the reason why I'm going slow is because uh, my transmission screwed up. So it won't uh -huh. shift between first and second. So I'm trying to take her over to the shop and get her okay. repaired. Okay, I understand. I'm just going to run your information, make sure everything is alright, and then I'll let you underway, okay? Alrighty. Alright, just hang tight. You too. <laughs> yeah. I just know he's like, I'm like, the reason why is because it won't shift gears. That's why I'm going slow, so I'm trying to get to the shop right up the road. That was fast. Alright, here's your information. Thank you. I will grab it. Yep, <laughs> you're all good, sir. Uh, yeah, got nothing else. You're all good. Thank you, sir. You too. Take care. You too. I think at 122, tell them it's going to be code 4. I'll also be 10 6 for approximately 2 to 3 minutes. I think something else is going on. I'm away from her. I dragged air. He was just yelling. Like, yeah, uh, transmission is pretty sticky. He has a little bit of money saved up for a transmission replacement. Like someone's here fixing cars. Okay. Pop my hood here. I wonder. He's replacing spark plug. Me, I gotta replace the transmission. New engine, but transmission. They didn't do the transmission, so I have to get the transmission to replace.
I mean, the engine's pretty brand new. And that's the engine's new, but they did not replace the transmission when they put a new motor. So now the original transmission won't shift between first and second. That's why I was going so damn slow. I think he just ran everything so I was clean. I just let him know, yeah, uh, transmissions screwed up. I could have repeated to where I was going backwards. I'm gonna do a. Uh, I'm gonna actually have to drop the transmission out here. He knows a little bit of huh? No, I'm kind of just doing it out of here. Because she won't. Because transmissions. Uh, inside before. I Pretty much he lives for a new transmission for a minivan. I'm gonna actually Google. Hey Google. How much does a transmission cost for a minivan from 2005? So no, I'm gonna act like it's jacked up, it's on the stands. Or actually no, I'm gonna move it. Move it on the inside. I'm gonna act like I'm underneath uh, re uh replacing the transmission. So let's say they have it on the left, I'm replacing the transmission. slash me let's say puts a van on lift gets near knees and drains transmission fluid Trains and transmission fluid.
Hey Google. Let me go ahead and get that. Then let's just go with Mechanic 4. Alright, so, puts the van on the left, gets underneath, drains out the transmission fluid, starts to unbolt the drive line, drive line, the gearbox, and the bolts. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing just trying to replace this transmission. Oh, what happened to the transmission? The transmission. Uh, it's just old and shot. Oh, okay. Putting the new motor, but they didn't care to put in the new transmission to go with the motor. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha. There we go, I'll that out. Now I should do it like say that I'm over here taking out the drive line. I do. Do that. There we go. Got that on there. Yep. There we go. This guy knows what he's doing, even though he's wearing a Hawaiian shirt. Alright, um. Got the transmission. It's on bold. We got the drive line out. And retrospect. Well, actually, no, we won't actually. Tires would still be on the card. Unless I was working on uh, brakes and stuff. So, I'll do that. And then we'll do, um... The transmission. Lowers. Me. 
grabs the new transmission, the new who um six speed shin on the uh, Grabs new speed and transmission has helped putting the trans it's on the transmission check, it's new training in place, bolts on and carefully. And it does and it does and bolts thing. There we go. Now I just gotta put in the Alright, um, I'm going to go over here. I need a new uh, transmission fluid before I get a test runner. Hey Google, what color is transmission fluid? Dark red. According to Marietta Toyota, newer transmission fluid is a translucent dark red color, but over time, it will become even darker for use. Thanks, ma'am, for the transmission. I hope it's so nice to uh, no longer have that glitchy. What the hell is going on? I think this guy is just here working on his car. So I have spent one, what, one thousand two hundred fifteen dollars for a new transmission and uh, stuff. I 
All right, let's go ahead and take it for a test drive. See if I can get her up to speed now. Oh, she sounds beautiful now. I'm gonna see if that. I'm gonna see if that cop's still sitting there. Indeed, he is. I just had to give it a little rip and test the transmission. He sees me back out and driving. I know that's the same cop. It's actually nice to see that other people are using Brandon's truck. He almost killed my minivan though. <laughs> what the? What is going on? Did I miss something? I know I heard a honking. I think it was a semi. Or was it a red? Or was it a pickup truck? I don't know. Oh yeah, transmission is riding nice now. <laughs> 